Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Mitch. Good Tuesday morning to you all. Hope you guys are doing well out there, having yourselves a great start to your day, great start to your week, whatever it may be. Hope you guys are doing fantastic out there this morning. I got you an update on what's going to happen weather-wise for today. We're going to try to get it figured out for you folks. There is a big system that's going to eventually uh, kind of shoot across the middle of the country and today will kind of be the beginning stages of that system but it's really not going to crank up today it'll really crank up overnight into tomorrow but we'll talk a little bit on it but uh, we'll talk about what's going on for everyone else obviously also so um, if you folks have not subscribed, certainly consider doing that. Like the video if you like it. It uh, really goes a long way, especially when things are kind of slow. And uh, if you guys got anything that I can pray about or pray over, please put those in the comments below. It gives me an opportunity to pray over it, and it gives others an opportunity to do so too. Stay tuned for tonight. We'll continue to break down the system that's about to crank up here in the next 24 hours. We'll give you some latest information. We'll talk about it briefly in this video. At the very end of the video, I'll kind of give you some latest um kind of a broad view of the latest uh, snowfall predictions uh, for this storm uh, that will be really, like I said, get, it's going to get going probably tomorrow for the most part and then last through most of the rest of the work week. So we'll figure it out for you guys. Let's get rolling this morning. Take a look at what's going on. There's a disturbance right here uh, that's got some showers across areas of the southeast this morning, mid-south. This will throw a little bit of winter weather across the interior sections of the northeast this morning, a little bit of winter weather falling in areas of the north central and upper midwest areas uh, this morning. And then we watch this system that will eventually eject off the front range of the Rockies and then move across the middle of the country. And this will bring a swath of snow for these areas of the country right into here. For that fact, I can use my old cursor that I got right here. Probably right into here, there's going to be an area of pretty heavy snow. And this will also get extended a little bit into this region right here. But um, we'll see how this unfolds overnight. Uh, definitely let me know. I've had a couple of viewers say they're watching from Nebraska. That's great to hear. It's always awesome to hear. People, I, I love my folks here in the southeast, don't get me wrong, but always great to hear there's people tuning in from other areas of the region of the country. It kind of inspires me to talk about other regions also. So uh, we'll see what this snowstorm does for you folks overnight, really into tomorrow. But this is kind of what's going on. We look at watches and warnings. We got winter storm warnings up for the um, uh, areas right here in northeast Colorado. Uh, western, really especially southwestern areas of Nebraska. Central Nebraska is going to get hit pretty good with probably, there will probably be totals that, ex that exceed a foot in some t some areas. Omaha, just a winter storm watch as of now. Winter storm watch is extending into the Des Moines area and then all the way to where Minnesota, Wisconsin, and Iowa meet. You got a winter storm watch up. This will probably get upgraded to a warning. We'll see how it goes, but you got winter weather advisories down here in some of these counties in Kansas, but I think areas of Northwest Kansas will get hit pretty good in these regions. So we'll talk about a more kind of zoomed in uh, kind of discussion on these areas tonight. So stay tuned for that for sure. You got winter weather advisories for interior areas of the Northeast for a little bit of winter uh, winter uh, frozen precipitation in these areas of the country this morning. If I'm tripping up my words a little bit, I am I am pretty tired this morning. I don't know why. I just did not wake up and fully get going this morning. I think everybody has a morning like that occasionally. But uh, if you notice, just a little bit of low energy. As just I'm just a little extra tired this morning. But I'll I'll, I'll shake it off and be energetic for you. Ener energetic for you guys uh, this morning. I meant this evening. That's for sure. I'm, I'll have it together a little bit better. There you go. Uh, but for the southeast, we got some showers dripping through. No no kind of severe weather today. Tomorrow will be a different story for these sections of the country right here. Uh, but these showers will continue to move through the uh, southern central Appalachian Mountains. So we'll drift through Virginia, the mid-Atlantic areas, North Carolina. will eventually make it into Atlanta a little bit later this morning. Some heavier burst of rain is possible in Birmingham. And these are kind of just drifting through. They're not moving through very quickly. So a lot of areas will just see on and off rain most of the day here in Georgia and the Carolinas. If it's not raining, it'll be cloudy, maybe a little damp. And by the time we get to the evening hours, these showers will make it all the way to the coastline of the Carolinas. It might take all the way till late this evening for like the South Carolina coastline, but maybe some showers making it into Southeast Georgia. Some areas of the Big Bend and Panhandles of uh, Florida down here a little bit later this evening. This isn't a big deal at all. Won't drop a ton of rain, but certainly will make for a soggy Tuesday. That's for sure for a lot of the Southeast. Uh, we talk up here in the Northeast. 
you know, maybe a little winter weather this morning, a little bit of pockets of freezing rain, sleet, but not a big deal. As we're getting into about midday, we got a lot of shower activity, some light to maybe at times moderate rain for Washington, D.C., the Delmarva area, southern New Jersey. Certainly going to be some, a showery kind of day, especially around, around late morning onward. Certainly we'll see a good bit of rain here. Um, I'm get, still getting used to this little cursor thing, uh, guys. Uh, if I click it and you see like it extend like that, just um, uh, just know that I'm still getting used to it. But uh, I love it already. It's a great way to really circle different areas when I'm trying to specifically talk on areas instead of just kind of doing this right here, which doesn't help a lot of people. But anyways, uh, this afternoon, a stripe of snow and maybe just rain in certain areas will move through northern sections of New York State, certain areas will see snow, especially the higher elevations and the su and the lower elevations will certainly just see more so rain, but we'll watch this, but this isn't a big deal at all, prompting a little bit of some winter weather advisories for these areas, but as we're getting into the evening, maybe a little bit more amped up moisture in these areas, and just some snow flying around, some freezing rain, maybe some sleet, just a little bit of a light to moderate wintery mix up here. This isn't going to accumulate to a, to a ton, but certain areas could see maybe a few inches of snow, that's for sure. And then we got to continue to watch these areas. It's going to be active winter weather-wise, I think, for the interior areas of the northeast going forward. I think we'll have a few days in between the where we have a break and then it'll get active again. And we'll talk about that tonight. I think it's going to get pretty active. Uh, the, starting with this first storm that we're about to talk about and then uh, really onward I think there'll be two to three day lulls in between and then there'll be another storm so uh, it's going to be an active pattern it really is we're just trying to figure out where these low pressures are going to shoot across the country and you know depending on where they do that depends on who sees just flat out rain maybe some severe weather and who sees winter weather so We'll talk about the South Central U.S. The immediate South Central U.S. is kind of quiet. Some showers will move in in response to this low pressure about to move out the Rockies here. And some showers might move into uh, western areas of Texas right into this region right here. Amarillo might see some showers later this evening. Maybe even some storms in Amarillo around you know 7, 8 p.m. tonight. We'll certainly watch as maybe an area of heavier rain, maybe some lightning and thunder kind of blast through. And then as we're getting into the middle of the night tonight, the snow cranks up. I'm talking about 11 p.m. midnight tonight. Snow starts falling in northwestern areas of Kansas right into here, and then southwestern areas of uh, Nebraska. And certainly will be snowing in Denver probably as early. It'll start snowing in Denver as early as this afternoon, guys. It'll start snowing throughout the evening, snow heavily throughout the evening and the nighttime. And then, you know, waking up tomorrow around, you know, uh, 5, 6 a.m., it'll be snowing like crazy, probably in areas of northeast Colorado, especially, and still snowing in Denver. But the heavy snow starts to move into Nebraska, it's snowing in areas of uh, Wyoming. Um, and we keep this going here and we look, we got some snow falling, especially in northeast Minnesota this morning. A little bit of snow in the western panhandle of um, of uh, uh, Michigan. I'm sorry, the UP of Michigan, the western UP of Michigan. But the low pressure is flying right over the northern sections of Lake Michigan this morning. This is bringing some kind of warm air to the surface, warm air aloft. Therefore, you're just getting some rain, flat out rain in northern Michigan and the eastern areas of the UP of Michigan. And just some backside snow showers this afternoon for central and just a, a good chunk of uh, Minnesota could see some flurries, some snow showers this morning and then uh, the little this afternoon and then some snow flying around potentially for the southern shores of Lake Michigan into the western areas of the UP of Michigan for sure and then some shower activity down here. Uh, but other than that, we watch as this storm cranks up. If you look down here at the bottom of your screen, here comes the snow entering the picture from this Big time snowstorm that will hit areas of um, eastern Wyoming, northeast Colorado, and then just about all of Nebraska starting tomorrow morning. And here it goes. I'll stop at around 6 a.m. Uh, Y'all guys time out here, central time. And it's already heavy snow starting to move into areas of western Nebraska. Heavy pockets of snow into north northwestern areas of um of Kansas right here. You got some snow creeping up for the Omaha area, Lincoln, Nebraska area, and uh, starting to knock on the door of Iowa at this point. But it's snowing pretty heavily in these areas of western Nebraska as we're waking up tomorrow morning. So uh, we need to watch out for that. I'll talk about that here briefly at the end of the video here in a second. Temperatures today, uh, pretty warm. I mean, not warm literally, but I mean, it's going to be just only in the 30s and 40s ahead of the storm above freezing. So make any preparations you need to make in Nebraska. I know there's some small towns and communities out here, but still, I mean, 
I think to certain areas could certain there's going to be widespread swath of uh, eight to twelve inches of snow that's going to kind of work its way through northeast Colorado all the way down the eighty uh, interstate eighty corridor all the way into Lincoln into uh, Omaha. I think those folks here in probably eastern Nebraska will probably see more of the six to eight inch snowfall total range, but still a lot of snow. Ohio Valley, just 30s and 40s, maybe some pockets of some 50s in southern Ohio. And then we get into the 60s and 50s in the Mid-South. And then the Deep South, guys, I mean, all of Arkansas, Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, 60s and 70s for highs will be some isolated 80s in Texas. And uh, the Carolinas will be a weird area just because some showers will be moving through this, this afternoon. But the areas where the showers have not moved in, um, you know, down here, you might reach the 60s and 70s in southern areas of Georgia and South Carolina and widespread 60s and 70s in Florida, that's for sure, down here. So um, we look at the latest snowfall accumulations uh, based off the National Weather Service and, you know, just widespread 8 to 12 inches of snow showing up from northeast Colorado all the way through Nebraska. And then it starts to lower somewhat and central to northern areas of Iowa and southern areas of Minnesota, but still, I mean, a, a pretty heavy swath of snow that's going to reach right through these areas. It's still snowing probably in Wisconsin. This only takes us out through about uh, Thursday evening. Let's see if we can actually go a little bit further here. And nah, we can't. So uh, still heavy snow still probably falling uh, at the end of this frame, but really the epicenter of the snowstorm storm, snow storm is going to be right here in central Nebraska. So um, I definitely be prepared for a heavy wet snow in these areas. It's not like it's going to be snowing in the single digits or uh, teens. This is going to be a heavy wet snow uh, that's going to hit you guys pretty hard. Uh, not a super long lasting snowstorm necessarily. It's going to be moving on through. And here we go. We can actually watch the evolution of this. It starts off tomorrow. Uh, like I said, I mean, snow's already done moved through western Nebraska as early as midnight tonight. And uh, the whole entire evolution of the storm, watch how it cranks up, snowing very heavily in areas of central and western Nebraska, still in Colorado. And then watch, we got to watch this ice. I mean, there's a little bit of ice showing up from the AARR model in far northwest Missouri. And then you got icing in the far northern counties of Kansas, especially the eastern northern counties of Kansas. A lot of heavy moisture right here funneling in into these regions right here. You got a heavy fetch of moisture, this Gulf moisture kind of moving and pushing into this all this cold air right into here so this is heavy gulf moisture doing its thing and um we certainly need to watch out for it uh but as at the same time we stop this about midday tomorrow and uh, i mean you got some severe weather starting to crank up in areas of the gulf coast right here not the gulf coast but the gulf states Louisiana, places like that. Look at all this severe weather in southern Arkansas and Louisiana. So you'll have a line of severe storms. Damaging winds look, will be the biggest threat, but there is a 5% risk of a tornado down here. And we'll talk about that tonight. I don't have that panel pulled up, but there's still a slight risk. But you keep this going. I mean, when we're getting through Wednesday afternoon, heavy snow. This could be a big frontogenesis kind of situation in Des Moines where just a wave of very heavy snow moves through tomorrow afternoon for Des Moines. Uh, heavy wet snow could you know, be dropping one to two inch per hour rates in these regions. We'll talk about this tonight, but it's still snowing. It's just about all of Nebraska uh, tomorrow afternoon, and you keep this rolling, and it starts to move through. Very close to Chicago, but it looks like it's going to be all rain. Maybe a little bit of snow or sleet on the onset, but it quickly goes to all rain. But this is some really heavy snow. We can only go 48 hours out, which just takes us in the middle of the night, uh, Wednesday night into Thursday morning. Snowing pretty heavily. It's very close to Minneapolis. Looks like some moderate to heavy snow just moving into the city. Um, but it's going to be very close. But, I mean, you look at the whole entire duration of this event. Looks like a pretty impressive winter storm for these portions of the country right here. So we'll talk a little bit more detail tonight and uh, things like that for you guys. But that's all I got. Thank you all for tuning in. Um, sorry if it was a little sloppy. Just... Uh, I've been off for about five days, so I'm having to get my mindset right again for heading back to work and uh, just a little bit tired this morning. But that's all I got. Thank you all for tuning in. God bless all y'all, and I'll be with y'all this evening.